So there were three crosses, and we know that one of the criminals said this to Jesus, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. Hey, seems reasonable, right? Why wouldn't someone not say that? Well, you may be thinking that, but watch this. This is what happened. The other criminal says, Do you not even fear God? Since you are under the same sentence of condemnation, and we indeed are suffering justly, for we are receiving what we deserve for our crimes. But this man has done nothing wrong. So then he says, and he looks at Jesus and he says, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said, truly, I say to you today, you will be with me in paradise. In his mind, he must have thought, yes, oh yes, thank you, I'm saved. So which of these two are you, my friend? Which of these two would you be? Well, I would recommend to you, okay, I would recommend that you choose this guy the one who confessed and said, we deserve what we're getting of our, from our sins. But this man, Jesus, he has done nothing wrong. He's perfect. He's the perfect Lamb of God. That's what the Bible says. And he died for our sins. So you could choose to, to mock him, or you could choose to receive him, to, to open up your heart to come to him, and look at those nail-pierced hands, my friend, that were, those were pierced for you and your sin and my sin. And you could choose to do the right thing and be saved. And how? How do you do that? Well, it's been convoluted over the years. It's been made so complicated in so many Christian circles and denominations and all these different things. Forget all that. This is business between you and Jesus, just like that guy on the cross. In fact, Billy Graham said it, and he said it well. He said, I am not going to heaven because I preached to thousands, or I prayed more, and I read my Bible more. No, I am going to heaven like that criminal on the cross who said, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. That's it. That's it. You just need to say a prayer for, to, to, the, to the Lord, and just say, Lord, I'm a sinner. I call you my Lord, and I ask that you would remember me in your kingdom. And guess what? He will remember you. It's that simple. You don't have to get baptized. It's good to get baptized. It's a good thing. You don't have to to be saved. You don't have to be perfect to get saved. In fact, you don't have to clean your life up first to get saved. You go to God, then he cleans you up. If you're going to wait to get cleaned up to go to God, you'll never go to him. Even Christians need to understand that, that we're still sinners. I'm a sinner. I'm still a sinner. I'm in as much need as you, my friend, to, to have that, those sins forgiven every day. And I do have them forgiven because I'm in Christ. I belong to him now. Would you like to belong to him? You could say a simple prayer, just repeat it after me, just like that criminal on the cross, and you, my friend, can be saved. This is business between you and him. You're not praying to me. Just repeat these words after me. Ready? Dear God, I know that I'm a sinner and I'm sorry for my sin. I turn to you, Jesus, and I ask, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for loving me. And you know what? Thank you, Lord, that you promise that I can be in paradise in your kingdom with you. We praise you. We love you, God. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, my friend. That's it, man. That is it. So simple. Now, make sure you're reading your Bible. Make sure you're getting fellowship with other believers. And make sure you're going to church, a Bible-believing church and pray every day. Talk to him. Talk to him before you go to sleep every night. Talk to him when you wake up in the morning. All right. Hey, I love you, my friend. Have a good day.